This is my homemade log splitter. I made it about five or six years ago. It's made mostly from scrap. Um, some pieces of angle uh, I beam here and here make up the main frame. A little axle with some wheels so I can move it around the yard. Here's the splitting wedge and the push plate. The valves and filter I did purchase new and the hoses everything else is uh, stuff I acquired. I'm not sure what this hydraulic ram is from. Um, I think it's a little longer than it should be but it works good. This plastic gas tank is my hydraulic reservoir for the hydraulic oil. This is where the pump sucks it out. This is where it's returned. So the pump pulls from there, comes underneath. There's my pump. It's attached with a Lovejoy coupler to this engine. It's an old 8 horsepower Briggs & Stratton out of a yard tractor. Um, this frame I just made from scrap and the mounting plate is actually where it was connected in the yard tractor it was on. I just cut it out and welded it on here instead of making a new mounting plate. It's got an electric start which I'll show you in just a minute. My fuel tank here. This is a valve specifically for a log splitter. There's your forward and then it locks into reverse and when it hits the end of its motion it automatically pops back to neutral. Works pretty good. This is where the pump, this is the high pressure line from the pump. It goes up here and it feeds into my valves and then depending on how I have the thing positioned here it either outputs to my piston here or back here to control which way it moves. All in all it's a pretty simple setup. Um, you can probably find a lot of instructions online on how to put the hoses together and all that. I'll show you how I start it up. It's electric start but it doesn't have a, its own battery or anything so I use this car jump starter and I just hook my negative lead to the frame like that and I hook my positive lead to the side of the starter
So that's it in a nutshell. Works pretty good. As you can see, the ram doesn't move all the way to the wedge, so sometimes I have to put in a small piece of wood to help push it far enough. In this situation, this wood was wet, which some of it hung together, so I did have to put a little piece in there to push it all the way, but usually I'm splitting dry wood and it just falls apart um, when it starts to split, so that's not usually a problem. But for a homemade log splitter made from scrap, it seems to work really well. It's been reliable um, over the years. I've used it many, many times, and uh, I think it'll last me quite a while longer.